follow the finger. Oh, that was flipping close that was right hello welcome back to the shed of dreams okay right i think the cloud has lifted which is a good thing because as you saw in that last video i was just babbling you always babble easy i hear you quite yes uh, yeah on the chin I'll, I'll fall on that blade uh okay right uh the post has been but before post has been, I'll let you, I'm going to show you what I've been doing around the shed. It doesn't look like I've actually done anything, does it? It really doesn't. But believe it or not, I've been in here now five minutes. No, I haven't. Four hours. Four hours I've been in here and I have done loads. I am going along. I am picking bits and pieces up. And I'm putting them into where they need to be most importantly i've been dibby dabby dibby dabbling on the uh, dymo label that and i have been labeling up everything flaring tool is is the pipe work so i can do brake lines now if i need to or have to yeah everything's got a place sandy paper and so on and so forth. I've yet to label these, but until I actually know what exactly going in these uh, little trays here, uh, I'm not sure what's going on. In actual fact, I may even take these little trays and put them down here because they're sort of things that you need to look into uh, and grab hold of sort of thing. So... Either those two over there or these two here will be then going up here so I can just run along and I will get used to what's where and all the rest of it. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because although they'll have a label on it, you still can't really see, you know, you're fumbling around, aren't you? So you'd have to flip in, get it all out and all that kind of thing. Oh, I don't, I don't know yet. I just, I don't know. But yeah, we've got some uh, new bits and pieces that I've just found lying around. I mean, look, it's not even been out in the freaking box yet. These router parts, got force and bits, router bits, different O rings, got the oil resistant O rings, no O rings. And I need some more lighting in this area, as this is the industrial corner with all the metalwork and stuff there. I've had, I've got a great big strip. Of LED lights which goes all the way down there I just need to screw that up now up under here and then these cables go to the driver which is there see everything's it's all ready to go and that will have enough that's I've got enough output uh what output? 25.5 watt, uh, 25.2 watts maximum output. Now you need an awful lot of LED lighting to make 25 watts. So what I was thinking is if I make some sort of, uh, you know, snaky LED effect of stuff, this is okay, but it's quite directional and it's just like, you know, it's it's just there. It's not here or there or at the back there. It's too dark and dingy. When you've got a million drill bits and, and stamps and, you know, all that kind of stuff going on here. Yeah, just pretend that's not there. Um, You do need an awful lot of light. So I may be running a whole LED strip, to be fair, along there. And if it's as bright as these things, you know, I'm going to be laughing, aren't I? I mean, look how much... That ill illuminates all down there. It's just flipping ace. So there we go. Oh, that, that's a radio and that. And it's also really good having USB bits on your sockets, guys. It really does help. 
I'm happy in the fact that I'm getting there. I did not realise how many tools I have. Uh, and the stuff that I've got that I've never used um, is just incredible. I mean, let's have a look at this over here. Look, it's Parkside stuff. I really should do Parkside reviews. Spray gun. Why? I just, I use rattle cans. Why don't I use this kind of thing? I've got it. And this little, little cherub is just brilliant. You've got the main body there and you can change from a normal chuck to uh, a ratchet like that one <laughs> but just to have a drill on hand it looked awesome another thing i found in the box saw an air saw you know oh, oh, flipping nightmare i've used that before that's wicked that is but uh, and i've not used that um media blaster just put your media in there grit whatever Whack the yellow on Bosch and you, you can clean up metal work. Ah. All, the thing is I'm struggling with it because of this. What's going on or not going on up here. I come down the shed this morning and I reverted back to about three years ago where I just, no, no, can't do it. Went back indoors. But Cass went out. Um, to rescue some family members from uh, fate worse than death and uh, so I left left me here and I just I was indoors I was playing the pinball machine got a high school actually and I thought do you know what you've got to do something you can't just sit around so here I am and I've been in I'd like, say four hours now so it's all working let's have a look at what Posty's bought I am hoping that it is. Oh, I think I need a pair of scissors. Let's go see where the scissors all are. Oh, look, they're all in one place. Fuck me. That's a change easy. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's the little things, isn't it? Right, let's get chomping. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Hope it's not that bunch of £50 notes. Ah, I've just cut through them all. By the way, Mr. Kane, two days in a row now, I'm going to stink, aren't I? <laughs> actually, <laughs> Kane, I've actually sent your the firm. Is it your firm or is it someone that you work for? Your, your sort of, you know, uh, you're an ambassador for the, for these. Or is it Kirk Cycles? Don't know. Anywho, I've actually, or went online about four o'clock this morning and i sent an email to these guys so i've just had, I had an email back about 10 minutes later saying yeah we'll get back to you with your inquiry as soon as possible i think i put something like uh do you sell t-shirts <laughs> something like that you gotta have a giggle haven't you anyway thanks again for this it really it's my best fitting shirt that medium that you sent me it's spot on right let's dive in Okay. Now I'm hoping that this is the oil pressure switch because we can then go out and fit it. It is the oil pressure single nodule switch. There's the hole for the pressure to act on. Act on! Act on! Right. Okay. I'm going to get some tools sorted out and i am going to go under the bonnet under the hood okay probably <laughs> catch you in a minute guys thanks for watching and uh yeah see you in a minute this isn't the end of the video like i normally just cut it off because mm -hmm. uh i'm gonna stick with this one perhaps <laughs> i'm just kidding just kidding right i'll right, catch you in a minute Hello, here we are, set up outside. Uh, I'm trying something different today because there you are, sat, up, sat on top of the tripod, and here I am with my little mini mini tripod. So when we start working in a minute on this uh, to get to that switch, I'm going to bring you, put you on here, 
stand you on top of the battery so you can see exactly what's going on under the hood bonnet hood bonnet whatever okay now i have uh, this little pile as you know and i think it's a genuine for ford part because it's got ford written on it let me show you <laughs> oh. can you see that there no let's put that bloody light off ford f-a-u-d <laughs> you can't write it can you anywho so yeah i've got a ford part all right so that's cool I'm going to keep it in my belly pocket because otherwise I'm going to lose it. Okay, let's bring you in and uh, get started doing a tear down. I, I'm hoping it's not going to take an awful lot to get this off. I'm hoping if I remove one hose, I should be okay. So this should be a quick job. Got me 22 mil ring spanner because I think it's 22 mil. Uh, right, I'm going to bring you in first. I'm going to do it by hand. Uh, bring you right in close to show you how much oil is coming out of this thing right okay that's what we're looking at so I'm holding the phone with one hand and I'm trying to get this plug off with the other hand go on fella off you go right oh, god there's a bloke across the road he's a he's a tail lifter <laughs> I shouldn't say that he's uh yeah and he's bought him one of his many um friends special friends and uh they do insist on coming outside when I'm video and then just yickety yakking but there we go I think that's it let's try hooking it off yeah it's free right I'm going to stick my other hand in there now and pull it out can you see look at it's saturated it's just where the oil is being pushed out from in there that is horrid isn't it okay let me get in there christ he's actually doing some physical work and recording it bloody hell well stranger things have happened you can see it there inside it's sodden caked right now to get to this properly I need to you can just about see it in there so I am going to remove this hose it's just two Jubilee clips and it goes around there and around there and it's one of the uh, vents to go into the rock cover okie dokie right let me crack on and do that and then we'll bring you in again and we'll uh, we'll undo that together and uh, pop in the new one hopefully it's the same bloody thread if it's a different thread I am going to turn the air blue with paint because I'm sick and tired of things that I'm buying for this engine not being right but I'm pretty sure that's good and I've also got some PTFE tape is essential for doing things like pressure switches because there's fluid the other side and if you just wind it in you know metal to metal uh, it, it will dribble past it the pressure will find its way past the threads so you put a bit of ptfe tape wind it around about 10 15 20 times and then you bolt it in so uh, we'll do that in a second right onwards and upwards let me take off that holes it's all going well at the moment yeah you watch it fuck up hi ho fiddly dee oh you see that wasn't the tightest was it young flange okay that's not brilliant but there we are is what it is i'm going to see if i can try and get away with just removing that one let's pull the pipe off it, and then bend it backwards and then up over there oh look at that it's almost jumping out at me isn't it that's spot on can we see it no we can't uh, 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 uh. That's right on the edge of balance, teetering there. Right, where's my 22 mil? <clears throat> 22 mil, let's get that in there. In and on. That feels not like 22 mil. 
Let's try 20. That is not a 20. There must be a 21. Right, I have to go and get a 21. Okay, we've got a 21. I've got a 20. I thought it was 22 because the other one is 22. The um, the new one, right? We're on there. Yeah. Come on, baby. That's nice and tight. So I must have some PTFE tape. On it already. This hose is a little bit of a sausage, isn't it? Let's pop that off there. There's only a vacuum pipe. We're gonna put this, let's bend that somewhere out of the way. Probably. If I take that off, math sensor plug, and then put that behind it and put that back on. Hey, you can see. <laughs> now I'm gonna put the missus's um flannel down under here because there will be oil coming out you can guarantee it okay it is tight that's been on there a good number of years looking at the state of the brownness uh, near the nut there well, it's looking good because the thread looks the same. So that's good. I'm just going to pause you there because Farmer Piles is ploughing his field. All right, kids. Well, that was easy enough to, to loose, loosen off. Just unscrewing it by hand. There is a little tiny bit of uh, weepage down there. So there is the old. And uh, it's a bit mullered. Look at that and there is the new which is jolly good to see so like I say there is a, a, a hole between this hole and that electrical terminal in there so oil is getting squirted out through there okay right I'm just gonna pause you there and sit you back up in your seat and we'll watch watch me put PTFE tape on how exciting eh? I don't know how I do it for the money Okay, so here's the new pressure switch. PTFE tape is very, very fine. It's a bit like my hair. It's very, very fine. Now, there are there is only one way to put this on properly. So if you look at it like that, I'm trying to get the camera. Where are you? There you are. You put the PTFE tape on as you look at it. And you go round... Where are you? Uh, there, clockwise. So I'm just gonna whiz around there a few times. Four, five, six. Ooh. That should do. I don't want to overcook it. And it just snaps off, just snap it off. So there, that's PTFE'd up ready to uh, wind back in let's go and chuck it in shall we okay and just to show you here's that 21 mil spanner that that one is the ford one and this one won't go in it this this uh what's it called fold f-a-u-d <laughs> so you'll see there 22 mil spot socket and that fits in there nice and snuggly right let me try and wind this in you winding me up let's try and wind that in there to start with beautiful that's beautiful now you haven't got to really spanner this up to any sort of torque as such just so long as it feels tight that's it end of story okay now it would have been a lot easier if i'd have taken off this top hose here but it just takes time doesn't it right that's pretty good i'm not going to wind that in too much further 
because that PTFT E tape is doing it is doing its thing. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's tight. That's as tight as it needs to be. Okay, where is the there it is, there's the lead. Let's plug that in. That's it, that's locked in there. Put that back on there, and that's ready to go. Now all I need to do is refix this hose on there, undo that math sensor, plug it back in, so this is free, and then pop that hose. Well, I can do that now, can't I, really? Back on there, make sure it's on there, because it needs to create a vacuum, it needs to be airtight, gas tight. There we go, that can clip on to there as well. It doesn't want to go on there. Oh, boo-hoo. What I might do is take this off, this bracket off, because it's looking like it wants to go on there. Let's put this bracket on the other way, so it's naturally this side. Now let's try it. That's better, isn't it? There. Someone's had, had it off and not put it back on properly. Okay, so that's obviously where it should be. Let's wang this hose back in there. Jubilee clip. Oh, it must have fallen down. There it is. Oh, fucking Colonel Sanders is back with his tractor. Hang on. Right, well, he's buggered off. So, uh, anyway, that is done up now. Uh, the reason that was loose um, is because it's actually just a plastic neck that this is going on to. And this is, you know, a hefty piece of steel there, uh, which will tighten up and it can. I don't know why, but for some reason my camera decides it wants to keep cutting out. <laughs> Anywho, don't do this one up too tight because it's on a plastic spout and it could deform or crack it. That's cracking, isn't it? Okay, let's go in the business end of the vehicle, in the front. And then we'll try and start it. I've got the key in my pocket, dear Liza, dear Liza. The key in my pocket, dear Liza, the key. When was the last time you heard that? <clears throat> I don't know. Right, it's all plugged in. Backing pumps on. That's back in. Right. Let's go and try it out. I'm hoping that it's fixed it. Because then, because I'm running out of ideas. In all fairness. Auto door shuts working. Right, here we go. Oh, let's turn the turbo heater off. And the radio of nonsense. Thank you. So, not only is that another oil leak sussed, I am so fucking pleased. You know, when you sort of got, you know, when you get that code, was it 251, PA 251? It's a generic code for the engine. It could be anything. Uh, that, that's why you start at the cheap end of the scale, i.e. sensors and switches, and then you work up to the fuel pump, which is very expensive indeed. And, and a bitch to change. It's revving a bit high, but then is it revving a bit high? Oh, it's going down again now because it's cold. Don't know. Anywho, where was I? Yes, I start, always start at the cheapest first. It did. I spent £120 on that reader on that uh, OBD reader because it is Ford specific. I can't tell you what, I can't tell you how fucking happy I am, excuse my language. I only have to turn the key once and she starts. Let's just have a listen to those revs. Anywho, yeah, so more mucking fuddle again now. You know what I'm trying to say, guys, don't you? Uh, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, I think that is, we'll chalk that up as a win. That, it, for me, that's a major win, because, like I say, you have certain amount of of um, 
ideas and everybody on on the good old internet everyone's a mecha keyboard mechanic aren't they but you just if you just think about it logically when I first took all that stuff off to get to the uh, to see where the oil was coming from uh, you know the battery tray out didn't I? I had all that and the air cleaning box out the penny didn't drop because I thought that was a water temperature switch. I've said that many times in previous videos, as you guys know. So, I'm gonna go up and down the road in a minute. Well, I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't be happier. I need to get this dash out again and see if I can get that flipping rev counter working because it would be interesting to see where she ticks over at after a bit, a bit of a run. And I know I can fix the temperature gauge because it moves from where it is. It does go up halfway between there and, uh, and cold. So when I get the needle up to there, it will go halfway, uh, well, yeah, in the middle where it's supposed to be. Uh, so we've got speed. That needs to be moved because we're doing 10 miles an hour and it's exactly 10 miles an hour over so I need to just spin that round a bit whilst holding the uh, the axle the shaft of that uh, thing fuel I need to uh, just adjust that a little bit so I wasn't far away but there we are I'm getting all mucking fuddled in my head now because I am so happy I am so happy that that's that's fixed that's not fixed itself but fixed it. when I realized it was an oil pressure switch and it was freaking soaking every time I couldn't work all I could think about was um, you know uh, it's been splashed up from somewhere else anywho I'm going to wrap this video up here I'm going to go for a quick spin in a minute I'm going to have a quick five second talk back to you and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there all right see you in a bit Okay, well here we are, I've just been uh, around the block, it's like two and a half miles or something like that. And uh, yeah, it pulls like a, it's, when, I, when I came out of my uh, my close, uh, and turned onto the main street there, uh, it dipped a bit and I thought, oh crocky, it's going into limp mode. But anyway, pulled away and it's it's very responsive for, for a 155,000 mile engine, it's very responsive. So I went out to the main road, turned, did a right, went out. It's basically a big square. I used to walk the dog. Uh, let's turn her off. Okay, and uh, yeah, flew along there. Is that my tummy making that noise? Bloody hell. So yeah, did that. And uh, literally on the last quarter, the curly cabbage um, glow poker light started flashing. But no change to the engine note. Yeah, it just drove it drove fine. Um, let me just start her up again. It's ticking over at the right. All I'm concerned with, I'm probably overthinking it as I usually do, but all I'm thinking about is uh, where it was running rough before, where that fault was, has somebody done anything to the injector pump to ju just up the revs slightly? Um, I don't know, but it, it kind of, something's just not quite right. I'm going to plug it in again. Uh, I'm happy that it just starts first time and there's no cur curly sour hunting. That's fantastic. Um, I can't cast a vote on it now because I need to do it again I need to try and start it up tomorrow morning uh, and see how far see if it works I will record that and um, put it on in a sec uh, right well so like I was saying it, what other problems was that caught now where it was running without any real specific uh, oil pressure as such now that it has oil pressure is that going to reveal other horrors, i.e. Uh, a gasket gone? Or I do know for a fact that I have got the cam. That's right. The, the, another leak that I found when I did the timing belt was the, the, the camshaft um, pulley 
oil seal. That's at least on its way out on a good day because it was all mucky in there. So that needs changing. I've got it. And the crank uh, pulley uh, oil seal is on its way. Now that is apparently it's a big job on this vehicle. I and mean, in my mindset, I'm not prepared to get involved in all of that stuff. I'm just going to see if my, my good friend can sort that out for me. I'll give him a hand. I'll strip the engine down uh, as best I can. Uh, and then he can go along and put all the locking plates in where they need to be because he's done millions of them. So it'll be a lot quicker and a lot stress less stressful uh, if, if he can do it for me uh, like that. So, you know, like I say, now we've got decent oil pressure. Is that going to throw up all sorts of nastiness? Only time will tell, won't it? I'm... I'm my frown's turned upside down. I've got a smile going on there, which is which is great. Okay, guys, we'll catch you in a little bit. Right, it's a good few hours later. So, let's go out. <clears throat> give it a proper test drive. I've got to go down to... I've got to go into Andover to uh, pick up a PlayStation 2 for £10. All right, Mucker. So let's see how this goes. You sit there. How's that? I can't tilt it forward any more than that, sadly. Right. What's make you jump behind me? Anything or nothing? Started straight away. Brilliant. I did notice, I did lift the bonnet up when I got back from that other little, what'd you call it? I did lift the bonnet up just to see if there's anything squirting out anywhere. And there wasn't. But um, I could hear this, uh, this hissing noise. like that wasn't a loud hiss it was just a trickly hiss you know uh, any ideas what it was it was the uh, uh, the head of tank cap was uh, just not done up too tight if you know what I mean oh that's all funny and <laughs> Yeah, PlayStation 2, working order, £10, don't mind if I do. I've got, um, I've got to do some micro-soldering, uh, and it's not easy. I've got this little thing that you need to solder in to the PlayStation, uh, and then I've got a 500 gig hard drive, so I can put all my games on the hard drive in the PlayStation 2. See if that glow plug thing happens again. If you think about it, the, the van's been running well since I've had it six months, and I've not really driven it to be honest. I've done a few long trips on it, but that's about you know that's it. And um, yeah, what's I going with that? Uh, it's it's been you know fine, just a pain in the ass to start when it's cold, but now it's now it's okay. Of course, the ECU. There's obviously different parameters uh, of change, the you know pressures and, and all this kind of stuff. So it needed to sort of sort itself out, I guess. So, um, like I say, when that started flashing earlier, um, I just stopped the van, turned the ignition off, waited for everything to stop for a minute, and then, uh, well, a couple of seconds, just turned it back on again, and uh, drove home. It was fine. Anyway, I'm going to pause that there. 15 minutes to hand over from my place. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, well, I've got here, okay. Got me PS2 for a tenner. It's probably reversed because I'm using the Ford camera on my phone. Yeah, it looks alright. 
and the number on the back, I think it's the one that I'm after to do the modification. There's only certain numbers that you can you can use. Hence, tricky trying to find one. So getting one for a tenner is um, is spot on. Anywho, I've got to pop into town uh, to get some milk. So I'll be having to use that, won't I? I've even got a sticker on the back of the van. Never mind. Anyway, uh, yeah, no lights on here, no funny noises, no hissing or spitting. I've got warmth coming out through the vents. Uh, I think it's settled down. I think I've cured uh, the issue. I reckon that's a thumbs up. Anyway, if uh, if nothing else happens, I'll see you next time. This will be the end of this video. And uh, if something does happen, I'll be back on in a second. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you next episode, hopefully. And uh, yeah, take care. Drop a like and subscribe, please. And hit the notification bell uh, for more content whenever I uh, post it up. Uh, like I say, I normally do talkie talkies on Thursday. Um, yesterday, this is how bad it was, I thought yesterday was Thursday, I put a video out last night. Um, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, so it would have been a complete and utter mess. I'm still not feeling brilliant today, uh, but I think we're just going to stick with, stick with plan A and we'll do talkie talkie next Thursday. Okay, so if you're watching this in, in the future, uh, yeah disregard any of this crap <laughs> okay anyway thanks for watching and uh yeah catch you again bye bye